All right, today we're going to be looking at growing elements in Adobe After Effects. So I have this little composition set up. It's a tribal pattern. And when I go like this, it grows. Okay. This can be used in any video. It's transparent. And the original looked a lot like this. In order for this to work, you're going to need three things. Photoshop, Illustrator, and then After Effects. In Photoshop, I have this composition set at uh, an image size of 938 by 1010. That's all you have to really know as far as, you know, you can find any tribal design on the internet. I would I would suggest a little bit of higher res one, but we're actually going to live trace it. So here I have a single um, tribal design. Then what you need to do is go over and open that up. So you can save that as a PSD file. And I'm going to use flatten layers to single image. I'm going to click on it with the black arrow and hit live trace options. I want to make sure I use ignore white, that way the background is transparent. Hit trace. Then we're just going to break this up into a, uh, a few elements. Uh, I do that by clicking it with the black arrow and hit expand. Then object on group and I want to make maybe just three separate elements for this because it does it does get a little complex or monotonous so what I'm going to do is chop this off using the eraser tool so I'm going to chop it off here and let's see I will chop it off here For this tutorial, I'm, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible because it does take a while, so I'm going to eliminate this element here. Okay, and yeah, sorry. You just click on that and delete it. Okay, so I have only three elements. That means I need three separate layers. This one I'm going to put on this layer. This one, the middle layer, and then this layer. Okay, good. All right, make sure it all fits in the composition window. So this is uh, the artboard. So make sure it fits on your artboard. And I'm going to save this as tribal. All right, I'm going to open up After Effects and go New Project. Then I'm going to import the file tribal and I want a composition okay down below I have these three now new layers okay based upon the three layers that I had in After Effects if I go Composition, Composition Settings, and turn this to white, I will now be able to see my elements. Okay, so double click here, and you can see that the whole thing is made up, and it's made of three separate pieces. All right, well, I need a new thing here. Um, and in order to do that, I need the exact composition measurement 938 by 1010 okay kind of an easy way to do this is make a composition of a composition and just get rid of the elements okay so that's a blank one I'm gonna rename this final I think that's the most confusing thing about After Effects is the fact that there's so many different compositions Okay, so now we need three more compositions. Ready? Okay, composition one. Um, I'm going to click and drag this down. 
another one for each layer. Okay, so now I have the three layers. This needs to be done for each layer. So I'll show you the first step. Go into the piece, the composition piece, and let's kind of zoom in on the area. And we're going to take and go with the pen tool and click and drag. Click, click, click. And then I'm going to start over here and then go across. So a pen's going to travel here and then down. Okay. I'm going to take this little path I made and copy it. It's located here. It's called Mask Path. Command C or Control C. And then I'm going to go into a feature. First, click your layer 2. A feature called Write On. Generate Write On. Okay, so basically it goes like this. You go to Effects, Write On. And under Pen Position, I can now Command V or paste it into that area. So that teaches the pen to trace that path. Your brush size is going to vary, so I can't really tell you exactly what your brush size is going to be, but I want to do a reveal original image. This will make everything disappear, so don't freak out. All right, so I'm going to try a brush size at 25, and it's brush spacing. Always keep it down to 0 or 0 0.001. Okay. There we go. It's tracing out that element. Good. So that's basically how it works. For each piece, I need to do that exact step of making the path and then choosing the write-on. Under the project now, I have final. Okay, let's go back to final. It's blank. I got the first one done, so I'm going to click and drag it to final. So my final composition now has this little growing element. I'll do one another one really quickly here. Let's go to this one. I zoom in on the area again. And then I begin. This time I'm going to start here and work my way up. And I'm going to go out here. I think the trickiest part is just deciding what kind of path you're going to travel. But these points can't touch or they'll join together and then look a really, really bad. Okay, so there we go. That's the path I'm going to follow this time. Okay, so again, here we go. Masks, mask path, command C, copy it. Uh, then go back to your layer three here. Go into write on. Down below, write on pen position, paste it. I know my brush size is 25 now. It should be the same for all pieces. Doesn't have to be, but now I know it can. And I want to use the reveal original image. Okay, so I hit play and voila, the element grows. Okay, good. Back to the project. Back to final. New one gets transferred down and now this is what I have. Alright, I think I have time to do one more. Getting really quick at this. Alright, last one. Okay, zoom in, rinse and repeat. Um, so Here, I'll make it a little bit more complex just to give you some more eye candy here. So I'll go like this. Again, they can't touch. They can get close, but can't touch. Okay, then I'm going to come clear down here. And 
if you need to zoom out, just use a wheel mouse. There we go. That one's a really complex shape. All right, now uh, that should prove that just about anything can be made here. Command C. Again, go back up here, do the right on effects, right on brush position, paste it, brush size, reveal original, and brush spacing down. All right, let's see if that one works. Cross your fingers. Yes. Okay, good. Go back to your project folder. You can also go here. Here's final. If you need to reset things, we can go here to reset standard. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now you see, don't screw around with After Effects because you could accidentally do something wrong. All right. There is my last growing element. So all together, I have this nice growing element. All right, in the next video, I'll show you what you can do with it as far as exporting it goes because you have to do one more final thing, a final, final composition. All right, I'll show you that in the next video.